Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and hope you are doing well. Today we are going to go through three name sets I've added to some of my Arsenal shirts that I've been recently upgrading and these include this Mikel Arteta, this Thierry Henry and that's Theo Walcott. Now I've got my girlfriend to stop laughing. Yes, those are the name sets I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through this video and let you know where I got the name sets from, how I printed them and how they are in this lovely situation now. So um, yeah, let's crack on with the printing part. If you guys are new around here, please hit that subscribe button. We're aiming for a thousand subs by the end of the year. And every like and sub really helps out the channel. So yeah, thank you guys for sticking around. And let's get on with the printing. So the first name set we're going to have a look at in this video is the Fear Walkout one. So the first thing I do is grab my official Premier League template. And I shape the letters how they should be. You should always stick to the adult one, obviously, for the adult shirts. I am using player version sizing name sets here. And use some sticky tape just to stick down to keep them in a shape when you move them off the template and onto the shirt. So next we're going to grab our iron and some baking parchment. You can just use a thin cloth but I always use brown baking paper. I just find it works best. We're going to use the iron and go over in around the temperature around halfway between the highest setting and the medium settings. And do that for a few minutes. Always do it slowly. The slower the better. Um, you don't want to do it too fast or too high temperature and ruin the shirt but then you can successfully peel off the name set always go over the top to make sure they finish printing as well so it's the same stages with the number just use the template to make sure they are straight on there because you don't want them to one key and regret it straight afterwards but yes yeah, same same way doing it again just go over the numbers can take a little bit longer because they are a bit thicker and obviously a larger service area so just go over them a couple of times you'll never do it the first time so just make sure you go back over them to make sure they are stuck down before attempting to peel them off once again it's always safe to do it slowly um, you can do it slower then you know it's stuck down as you can see in the video some bits i've had to re-go over the top so you'd rather do it slowly and make sure it's done properly rather than rushing it and yeah worked really well It's pretty much the same system for the Arteta shirt. They are very similar letters. It's the same, really, same era, 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 shall I say, for the name. So it's the same lettering, same system. Stick the sellotape on there. Just remember, after you've ironed on a little bit to keep them in place, take that sellotape off because you don't want the sellotape melting under the heat. So same steps again. Just peel it off after you've stuck it down on the iron. Slower, the better. If you do have a tape measure, it's always handy to make sure it is dead centre. So I used reference the E in the arsenal at the top there to keep the number centralised with the tape measure. For the last shirt, it is slightly different. We don't need to use the template this time as the nail set we've got has been curved already. If you're wondering what, where I get my name shirts from, uh, name sets from, I will get them all from eBay, which I find it's better. And there's obviously a limited range there, but I get what I need from there. Sticking down older name sets like this, the felt ones can take a bit longer, but patience is key. Just turn the heat up slightly if it's not sticking down, but make sure you're only doing the ironing in about 10 second bursts, I find is best. Just do it slowly over the top to make sure you're not burning the shirt or the name set. Because if you do overheat the name set, sometimes they can get stuck to the iron. Um, it's, that is also why you want the baking parchment between the plastic name set bit and the hot iron so it doesn't melt on top and ruin your shirt. I always like to go over the top again. Uh, just to make sure it's all flattened down but when you are doing this lower the temperature slightly because you don't want to unstick the shirt or burn the shirt so that is it guys for the printed part let's look at the final results
So that's it for today's video guys, hope you did enjoy, hope you found the video informative. I do have an original sh video for printing name sets on shirts, that's on a channel. So if you want a more in-depth look at printing, check that video out. This one was just for a quick video, just to show that I've been upgrading some of my shirts. So yeah, I think I'll continue making these videos, just to give you guys an update on what shirts I'm printing. hoping to get every single Arsenal shirt I have in my collection updated with a name set so yeah if you guys found this informative or just enjoyed the video please hit the like button comment down below what your favorite shirt of the video was and i hope to see you in the next one see you next time